Oh boy, what are we doing today? I don't have a place to put my mic, is that good? Hey guys, what's up, it's Sammy. Okay, today's video is something super weird and I don't even... <laughs> It has come to my attention recently that there is this website called Pretty Ugly Little Liars. I actually knew that this existed because, like five years ago, I was doing a Googling myself video and I discovered this. I discovered this page that people just posted mean stuff about me and then someone deleted it. Like the forum completely disappeared. Like not the website, but the one about me. Um, and then it appeared again recently. I don't know actually how recent. I haven't really looked at it. I just know that Sammy Speak slash Twin Buns comes up next to this. Um, and today I'm going to be reacting to it. Uh, whenever negative things are said about you online, it's good to just take the power out of them by no letting them know, hey, I see you and I'm making a video about it. Yeah, I just thought it would be funny to read, maybe respond to some of the things that people have said about me on this website. I have my smart looking glasses on, ready to read. These are fake. I actually need glasses to read, but I left them in Japan, so we're gonna pretend. <laughs> Um, so there are 17 posts in this topic, apparently. There's two pages, let's read through them. I'm gonna start screen recording though, so that way I can put it on screen here and you can see all of what I am seeing. I hope this works, cause like Apple sometimes does not work with screen recording. Sammy Speaks, also known as Twin Buns, Samantha, Sammy, Cherie, Sam Kendelson. Samantha, Cherie, Kendelson. Um, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Wow, they have my gaming channel linked, that's crazy. Fun fact, I have a gaming channel. Um, Twitter, Tumblr, Patreon, you now, Facebook. Do they actually have my Facebook? That is not my Facebook. That is my old Facebook page. Okay, I'm glad that they don't actually have my Facebook. Sammy is a 21 year old aesthetic YouTuber from the US who makes videos largely focusing around makeup, fashion, and lifestyle. She's currently has over 130,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 13,300 followers on Instagram. She has gone through several different phases during her time on YouTube and has previously made quite tutorials, story time videos, and vlogs. Here are some examples of her older videos. These days she is Mount Well, most known for her aesthetic makeup tutorials, try on hauls, and her Tina Chat series. Am I known for my Tina Chat series? Really? I I mean I just I kind of stopped really doing that series because no one liked it, but apparently back in the day I was known for it. I'm, I'm working on something else with that title. Um, but yeah. Her Instagram account shows some pretty Egregious reuse of selfie poses. Yeah, I know. I love to press on my cheeks. What is this? Issue. She was criticized for appropriating, appropriating the art home movement created by POC artists by making makeup tutorials and using it as an aesthetic. The finished look seems to be inspired by East Asian makeup more than anything else. She has never responded to the criticism and in fact still promotes fan art of this look and derives der derivative videos. Sorry, I can't see. <laughs> without acknowledging her mistake or correcting anyone. Okay, I did change the title of that video. I totally admit that. Well, when I made that, no one knew what, where the art ho movement or the art ho anything. Um, at the time, it was just an art ho aesthetic. It was conkin bags, plant moms, everything like that. No one knew what that was from. Like it was not a, no one knew. And then all of a sudden everyone knew and my video already had like 500,000 views, so I couldn't do anything about it. And when I changed the title, the video stopped getting views, which I did not like. And I still don't like when that happens. Obviously, you don't make a video for not to get views. So, and in the video, it already had text that said that. So I kept the video up and most people aren't really that angry about it now because I have addressed it in multiple videos. I say, you're not an art hoe, you're a plant mom, stop appropriating a large group of people. Um, so yeah, there's me addressing it. I will never do it again, <laughs> but that's the past. I was kind of stupid and young. That was a long time ago. Um, she's also been criticized for other videos. These are much more minor, but worth documenting for completeness. She cuts up manga pages and Pokemon cards. Many competitors pointed out that she could have just printed out the images and avoid damaging merchandise. Hi, I don't have a printer. That video was made in like 20, what, 15? I was like, a young kid, I didn't have a printer access to my disposal and if I did, my parents would not let me waste the expensive ink. Um, and also it wasn't even a volume of manga that would cost like a lot of money. It was a used manga magazine, an American one that I got from a used bookstore. So it like really 
<laughs> it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, she mishandles her vinyl records. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Who cares if I mishandle my records? They're mine. I bought them. I'm allowed to touch the grooves if I want. But I'd also like to point out that I used to do dumpster diving with my brother and we would get vinyls out of the dumpster that had garbage juice and peanut butter on them. And we would restore them and they would work perfectly fine. So my little clean fingers touching my record for five seconds to take a thumbnail picture is not a big deal and never will be. <sighs> Her respond to criticism has been less than tactful. <laughs> I would not say that my responses in this video are very tactful. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sammy dropped out of high school without any qualifications higher than an eighth grade diploma and doesn't have a GED because she thinks a YouTuber doesn't need one. She has implied that because of her channel's relative success, she is relative success, she is superior to her peers. This is definitely not correct. I do not have a GED or a high school diploma or anything equivalent like that because so far in my life I have not needed it. I have had jobs and currently do have a job which I do not need a high school diploma. Um, I'm not opposed to getting a high school diploma. I don't think I'm better or worse than anyone for my YouTube. Honestly, my YouTube is literally nothing. It's just a thing that I have online that I do. It doesn't make me any different than anyone. Like maybe if I had like, five billion subscribers like it would be something but like no it's just like my little thing online like my little online group that i've created there's nothing super like oh my god i have youtube success although she wants to have a lot of subscribers she shows complete disdain for them when she's criticized that they don't watch certain videos and they unsubscribe I have no obligation to I have no obligation to feel anything towards people who have unsubscribed and decided that they don't like me based on the videos they have seen online. I have no obligation to ever interact with them or anything like that. If someone decides they don't like me, that's their fault and I'm done with them. She often talks about how small she is. Sometimes she complains about how awful it is looking so young and fitting into kids clothes, but sometimes it's fun. Okay, the T is, yeah, when you're in your 20s and people mistake you for being 14, it's freaking annoying, but I also don't do anything to look older than I am. Like, look at these glasses. They make me look like an owl. And yeah, I do often in my videos mention like the size in which I am because a lot of my videos, like you said earlier in this, is try on hauls. My screen stopped recording. <laughs> I hate iPhone. Um, yeah, try on hauls. People need to know that I am not like your average size, like five foot seven person, that I have a very small frame for a small structure so that the clothes fit me in a different way than they will majority of people because I am short and compact. Um, but yeah, I'd say I'm pretty average size for like short people. I don't know how to explain it. I still don't know to this day how to explain it. That that's like what the original poster, I don't really know how this website works, but that's like the description of me. Now we're moving on to the comments in which people have said about me. <laughs> These are where they probably will get good. <laughs> Finally, someone made a thread to help her. I actually found her with one of her story times talking about her roommate and a friend that stole stuff from her since it was interesting. And okay, I subscribed. I couldn't stand her for more than a month. Oof. There, <laughs> oof. There are tons of things that irk me about her. One being that she has the LGBT tag thrown around in her room and takes piss with it being a whole heterosexual. Yikes. Okay, like, yeah, I understand. I get bored with YouTubers too. I go through phases where I love them and I absolutely hate them. No shame on you. You watched one of my videos and subscribes. You gotta at least watch 10 before you decide if you like a person. Um, and yeah, that was one of my most interesting story times, but it was actually one of my last um, because nothing else crazy has happened in my life since. And with the whole uh, LGBT flag thing, I am allowed to have a rainbow flag and nor have I ever stated my sexuality online. But being a whole heterosexual, yikes. If anyone thinks that she looks 12 or 14 years old, they have probably never seen a 12 or 14 year old. She doesn't look old at all. She has kind of a youthful, but she looked at least 18 to 20 minimum. How could she expect anyone to believe that someone mistook her for a 12 year old? If she had 16 years old, it would have been more believable, but still not very believable. Her makeup is bad, blah. Yes, I know my makeup is bad. I'm not a makeup artist. I am not on the same level of like James Charles or Jeffree Star or any of that. Have you seen my eyelid space? I have no eyelids. I legitimately cannot do crazy makeup and I, Honestly, have no idea why any of my makeup tutorials popped off. Well, I do. It's because they were aesthetic and like fitting with like the theme. But if someone asked me to do like a full blown like wedding makeup, oh my god, they would look horrible because I have no makeup skills. I'm faking it till I make it, bitches. Woo! Um, but okay, about looking young. 
I definitely, first of all, the picture they use, I have a full beat on. I was trying to do some James Charles makeup. <laughs> um, but, uh, when I have bare face, which I never am usually on the internet, I often get mistaken when my mom is introducing me and my sister. She, well, I have two daughters, a 13 year old and a 20 year old. And they're always like, oh, is that your 13 year old? Keep in mind, my sister is like six feet tall. So she like, is this tall? And I'm down here being a 13 year old. Um, but yeah, I always get taken as younger than I am. But honestly, as I'm getting older, it's freaking awesome. That means when I'm like 50, I'm gonna look 30. <laughs> Why does she say she actually does her makeup like this and then goes on to say that it comes off as soon as she finishes filming? Does she not, does she just not leave her house with makeup on? That's such a weird thing to say. Yeah, I rarely leave my house with makeup on because I live in Arizona. <laughs> if you leave the house with makeup on in Arizona, it will melt off your face in 3.5 seconds. So I, I stick to makeup in the winter time and in my bedroom because it feels disgusting. Why do I keep taking these off and putting them on? I can't decide if I want them on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, makeup feels disgusting and I love the way it looks. I hate the way it feels. Her eyebrows look so much better without the makeup that she does. I agree. <laughs> Why is she eating McDonald's if she's vegan? Even the fries are cooked in animal fat. Hello. Um, the thing is in this uh, picture, that is a Taco Bell bag and next to it is a McDonald's cup because McDonald's Sprites are cheaper and Taco Bell only sells Sierra Mist and I don't like Sierra Mist. So I got a Sprite from McDonald's and food from Taco Bell, but my whole family was going to eat at McDonald's. That's why I went to McDonald's to get a soda. I was like, oh, I'll just get one at McDonald's. So yeah, I didn't eat McDonald's. That's disgusting. Disgusting. They just put one of my tweets. When she talks about her old look, she pretty much acts like fat and ugly are the same thing. It's said to it's sad to hear because she thinks she was ugly just because she weighed more than she does now, which is not true. She's pretty either way. Thank you. It's awful for her to be putting that message out online. Weight does not equate to beauty. There's a lot of things that made me look a lot different back then besides my weight. I do have to say I personally prefer myself when I have less weight on my body. I just think that for me being short in stature and frame, I look better when I have less weight on me. My face, my chin is one of the things that gains a lot of weight when I gain weight and I just don't personally think I look good when I'm like that. I wouldn't necessarily say I equate fat to ugly. I just don't take those as words that hurt me. So you can call me fat and you can call me ugly, but those either I know that they're not true or if they are true, I don't take them as insults anymore. So yeah, I don't know if that answered anything that they just said, but that's my personal belief on it. You can call me fat all you want. You can call me ugly all you want. I don't take it as an insult. That's just how you see me. I also hate how she talks about school. Like, yeah, not everyone loves it, but I feel like she plays with the drama. Like I was fat and everyone hated me among other things. Not being skinny in high school can suck, but I really doubt that her weight was all this sort of her problems, especially after seeing her attitude in many of her videos. Definitely in school, the two main factors for why people didn't like me was because I was overweight and ugly and because I didn't speak because I had anxiety. Those are the two reasons that people told me to my face they didn't like me. A lot of people, especially my friends who are younger than me and are growing up in this generation, don't believe the stuff that I had to go through in high school. My friend couldn't believe when I told her that people used to spit on me, that people used to write curse words on the back of my shirt when I was sitting in class. People, they, they just don't believe that stuff like that actually happened but it really did. I don't know what else to say. Bullying happened, bullying exists. It might not exist as much anymore. It might've moved from being more physical to online, but it didn't exist and it happened to me. And I will sit here and continue to say that high school was one of the worst times of my entire life. Mm, just some things about a, twi a Snapchat post I posted about a Japanese drama, not important. Um, OMG, this girl, I know her IRL, friends of a friend, and she's just the worst person imaginable. She is so disrespectful and doesn't care about anyone but herself. Sammy's book that just came out and was co-wrote, and now she doesn't want to give anything to the author. She is manipulated and money hungry. From the personal, not YouTube interaction with Sammy, she has been nothing but in the eyes of a money hungry demonetized. She doesn't care nor support anyone else on YouTube. Instead, she bashes them completely. Don't be around this thing. Run if you're in her sight. Oh my God, who are you? This is crazy. Um, okay, here's the thing, y'all. I have no idea who this person is. Their name is Demonetized Girl 2000. But I have to say this. There's, okay, fine. Me and my co-author are not friends anymore. I will put that out in this video, but it is completely unrelated to the book. I was lied to and manipulated for months by this person, so I cut them out of my life. And I have been doing way better since without having that negative energy around me. Um, but I can say that I'm 
I don't think I'm money hungry because you guys might not realize this, but YouTube doesn't really make that much money anymore. Like hardly any at all. I have to scrounge together to get money from YouTube. I mostly just make money from other things outside of YouTube. Um, but yeah, um, like I don't even know where you got, like in real life I'm money hungry. I don't even know who this could be. I feel like this person doesn't actually know me, which is like tea, probably is true, but uh, Whoever they are, if I do know you, I would love for you to reach out to me. Clearly you watch my videos, um, especially if I know you in real life March. I have, honestly, I have no idea who this could be. This is crazy. I'm curious about how she has a subscriber count. She does with such low video views. It's called I've been making videos since 2011, baby. And um, all my subscribers are inactive. <laughs> I gained subscribers when gaining subscribers was easy. Now it's hard and people don't watch YouTube anymore. That's just the tea. Oh God, this next one, this is, this is, this is what gets to me. Oh my God, finally, yes, someone made a thread about her. I hear how she's a cooped, L cooped, cooped, copped, copped, I think that's copped. LGBTQ movements for her aesthetic and to see like an ally, ooh, woo, ew. I can't believe I just said ooh, woo. Even though she's straight, she made a whole video called how to come out when you're in a relationship, like you are straight, why are you doing this? That was an advice video. I was just giving advice and I did say in the video, I am just speaking from friends' experiences, but to act on your own will. Um, her new book too is about two boys in love, IDK. It just sounds like a very straight girl writing a gay fanfic that fetishizes queer men to me. Ugh, just bad vibes all around and this type of demonetized is really upsetting to me. Here's the thing y'all. I doubt this person has even read my book. And if you have not read my book, I promise you that nothing about this book is like a gay fetishization fan fiction at all. I don't, I've never read a fanfic. Yeah, I know, blasphemy. Um, so I wouldn't really know what they are like, but this is not anything like a fan fiction. It has, this book is basically, oh God, okay. It's a fiction book, it's all fiction, but Every character in this book is based off of almost every character. I shouldn't say every character. There are some background characters that obviously are not, but almost every character in this book is based off of someone in my real life. Brighton really draws a lot of experiences that happened to me. Sid, a lot of stuff that happened between them happened between me and one of my best friends growing up. It all draws from real life stuff. And I just happen to make the two main characters instead of be a boy and a girl, a boy and a boy. It doesn't change anything. The book would be exactly the same if I made it a boy and a girl. Well, obviously it wouldn't, but it would be like the same like level of cringe. I don't know. It is a little bit cringy just because it is like a teenage, like a children's book, you know? It's not meant to be like super serious. It's very like a happy-go-lucky fun book with some serious undertones that address serious issues that need to be addressed in the LGBTQ plus community. Then they're talking more about my co-author and how I had to say that he did not write the book with me. I just had to put that out there because I needed to put it out there. I didn't like someone else getting credit for what I did. And I'm sorry if that makes people angry that they thought he was a part of it and then he wasn't, but I couldn't let someone take the credit for something that I had fully put my heart into and loved wholeheartedly. I love my book with everything in my being and it makes me angry to this day to think that someone tried to take credit for that even though they didn't really work on it. So I literally got mad on here that I say that I use fans uh, Crunchyroll guest codes and that I bum Netflix accounts off of people. Are you pretending like we all don't use other people's Netflix and Hulu accounts? <laughs> like who pays for Netflix? I use my mom's Netflix account. I'm not gonna buy my own Netflix. I do have VRV though. I pay for VRV right now because it gives you Crunchyroll and High Dive and it gives you like old Old school cartoons like Rocket Power and stuff, it's really good. I recommend you check it out. I'm confused. How does she have 130? I already told you. I'm irrelevant. <laughs> okay, page two. Hello. How do I get to page two? Hello? This is too confusing. Oh, thank you. Okay. Girl demonetized. I'm glad this came up because I couldn't stand her and umsubbed and I hated that I couldn't even tell why she rubbed me the wrong way, but she just seems shady AF. Honestly curious, does anyone think that she bought subs because of the amount she has and the lack there of interaction to her content? Y'all, if I could buy subs. <laughs> First of all, did you see Shane Dawson's video on that? It is so expensive. I think. I don't really remember, but I feel like it was like a thousand dollars or something for like a hundred thousand or something. That's a lot of money. And also I've been making videos since 2011. It would be sad if I didn't have a hundred thousand subscribers because I've been posting every single week, twice a week since 2011 without really missing a week ever. <sighs> T, she isn't gay. I got into, I got into it with her a while ago. So a gay person 
her so as a gay person her whole aesthetic got me so mad I said to her why are you writing a book about a gay couple and you literally use the pride flag for aesthetics when you aren't gay and she literally said well my co is gay blah 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 this is just rehashing all the stuff I've already talked about I'm so sick of people using the LGBTQ plus community for some sort of quirky some sort of quirky against the grain aesthetic she is so demonetized rude too I cannot believe she dropped out of high school to be famous not true also, if you find her on Facebook, her family is a Trump supporting redneck and her mom seems to live in a freaking shack or something. Uh, my mom lives in a cabin in the mountains. She lives off grid. My mom's a hippie, not a hillbilly, <laughs> okay? My mom has been a hippie my whole life. It's probably why I have such an easygoing attitude. But yeah, my mom doesn't live in a shack. And yes, my mom did vote for Trump and does support Trump, but that has... Hello? That has nothing to do with me. I can't help my family's beliefs. And do I wish that they didn't like Trump? Yeah, because I hate Trump. And then they put a screenshot that I put addressing like drama on. Also, here's a pic on IG just made that look, that made me look for this thread. I don't see anyone online talking about her. You literally found like someone talking about me within five seconds. What do you mean? But yeah, I think I'm pretty lucky to escape the drama online. It's not like I've done anything really that controversy worthy. Um, but I would just like to put out there that for any authors that are wanting to write an LGBT love story or an LGBT themed book or even a book with an LGBT themed character in it, you, can you focus? Hello? Is it even out of focus? I'm blind. I can't tell. These aren't real glasses. <laughs> you can, half of the media out there involving the LGBTQ plus community is written by straight people at this point in time. It is 100% unrealistic to hope and want and say that every single um, LGBT piece of media needs to be written by an LGBT person. That is ridiculous. That's not gonna happen, especially with the way Hollywood works. That's just not gonna happen. Sadly, I know, but like, I'm just like, it's fine. <laughs> In the words of Jesse Page, mind your own business. <laughs> yeah, anyways guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I just thought it would be fun to go, th not fun, I don't know. I thought it would be informative, interesting, enlightening at that to go through that. I hope this video doesn't start any drama. I literally just wanted to read that and like get it out into the universe. Um, but yeah, I'll put a link in the description to my pretty, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, speaking of my book, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. I promise you it's not a gay fanfic. Anyways, if you actually like this video, please remember to like it by clicking the thumbs up. If you were subscribed and you have not yet, click the bell below to turn on notifications. You're notified when I post. You can actually enjoy my content, join the party. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Flop.